Hello guys and welcome back to episode 6 in the career mode I am Manchester United, obviously David Moyes, obviously and as you can see we are on transfer deadline day. Now I made a little bit of a mistake and forgot to record this and as you can see that's why we're on 7 hours left and not... <laughs> not the full 10 hours. Um, so, you know, my bad. So, at least I saved the majority of the footage. Now, as you can see, the top deals there. Gundogan and Royce coming in from Borussia Dortmund to United. And you've got Chiellini there going into City. And a new deal there. Benzema going to Borussia Dortmund. That is a good deal for them. And as you just saw, I was flicking through all the teams, looking at everything that was going on. But here we are. We have a transfer offer. For Michael Carrick from Aston Villa, and that is definitely a no way he was a no sale, motherfucker. We're not going to sell Carrick, he is instrumental in our midfield in real life and at the moment in this career mode. And I'm loving playing with him on this game. Absolutely beast, absolutely awesome. Brilliant pass, brilliant strength. Not a lot of pace, but whatever. As you see, the latest deals coming in, not many, not many big deals. And we're sort of dominating the top deals, but the, the, the highest deal there is 20, 25. I can't quite see at the moment, but yeah, it's around 25 million, could be 30. Um, but there we go, we're going to sim to the next game. And this, this episode, we've got two games and two different competitions. We have the Capital One Cup, our first game in that coming up right, you know, in a minute, <laughs> right this moment. And we have our first Champions League match in the group stage, and it's against Napoli, but it is at home, so it's going to be a good game, tough game, but for now we are going to be playing, I can't even remember the team now, <laughs> but either way, we're playing a low league team, and there's a few players that want to get in, there's um, international break coming up, Adnan Yanaze wants to have a game, so we're going to be playing him. And I'm just choosing the kits, and I'm going to go with the alternate kit, and, you know, that's the white kit, our old, our away kit from last season. And here we go, we're going to go into the match, and Scunthorpe United, that's the team, I couldn't recognise the badge there. <laughs> My bad, but as you see, we are away, and we have made lots of changes, which will be coming up shortly. Here's the Scunthorpe lineup. if you know any of the players there. I'm not familiar with anyone there, nope, so, you know, I can't really point out anyone good for Scunthorpe, unfortunate, unfortunately, can't even speak properly now, and there you go, we've got a few changes, Yanaze coming in, Giggs, Cleverly, Smallen, Keane, Fabio, Evra, Hernandez, Rooney, Kagawa do start though, I thought we'd give Hernandez some playing time and Kagawa a bit more, he deserves a bit more, and especially as he's playing through the middle, it'll be a, a good bit of play for Kagawa. Now as you can see, Scunthorpe early chances, only the seventh minute and good clearances from us. And away we go, a counter attack a few minutes later. Rooney to Cleverly, Cleverly to Yanaze and first time. Ooh, that was close, that was going in, but a good save from the keeper. Now Kagawa here, sh passes, oh it's a post. So unfortunate there, could have been 1-0, should have been 1-0. And we've got a corner from that chance though. Hernandez has taken it, I don't know why, <coughs> you know, I keep Hernandez on the corners, that's only because Van Persie normally takes from that side, I haven't changed it around, I can't bother either. So the game, so far throughout this game, you know, it's quite easy, uh, I'm trying to be fair, but we've got a chance here, and Kagawa, oh, what a goal, what a sweet finish by Kagawa, absolutely fantastic, oh my god, that was pretty damn awesome, one of the best goals I've scored so far. Very simple, but I just glided into the corner with that sort of scissor kick, sort of half overhead kick. Look at that, beautiful. But as I was saying, the game was going really well. Uh, playing it, uh, Scunthorpe didn't really offer too much chances. Uh, we had plenty, and obviously we just overpowered them throughout the game. But it was a fair game. We didn't obliterate them, and I thought we played really well considering we had the reserves out. Yanaze is an absolute beast of a player. Love using him at the moment, and um, he's getting plenty of game time. I think I am quite a few episodes ahead. I've still got br I've still got to edit them all down and bring them all out, but I sort of went a bit impatient. So I recorded all the footage that I should use, might use, and want to use. And as you see, it's half time one nil. Checking a few results there. 
But going back to what I was saying, you know, just getting the footage ready, and I went, I've got up to about episode 8, and this is obviously episode 6, so we're a couple ahead, but I've given given uh, Yanazo a good few games, and here goes another chance here, <coughs> and Rooney turns, takes a touch, shoots, oh, what a shot, what a shot indeed, hits the post, oh, that would have been beautiful if that would have went in. Such a close one. Hernandez here, straight from that chance. Absolutely fantastic shot. And Javier Hernandez makes it 2-0 United. We are going to win this surely now. Scunthorpe hasn't offered much challenge, and I don't think they're going to come back from 2-0 down, especially against us. Now Zaha with a bit of pace, trying to get the ball back, but the clearance there got away from Scunthorpe. Now they defended, they did defend really well, actually, to be fair with them. And a Rooney here. Another shot, parried away from the keeper, and very close indeed. And as I say, Scunthorpe did defend really, really well. It's a shame they couldn't get a goal. Uh, I think they did actually deserve it, in all honesty. They did play really well, but we were just too strong. And another chance here, and it's well wide. Good cover from Lindegaard, made himself nice and big, and got in the way very, very well. Now, as you can see, we are coming to the end of the game. And we're still 2-0. No more goals. Not much action from there. <clears throat> from the last clips. I've shown you. Uh, you know, it was a close game. In some respects. The defending from both sides were really well. I'm loving the defending on this game. And especially that I'm playing professional. And I, I can win the games. I, I'm getting better. I might soon move to world class. It might not be until the second season. But for now, we're still on professional. Which is good for me. I'm still still finding some of the games really difficult, and only just managed to win or even get a draw an occasional occasional loss. So, you know that's not a problem. But there you go, guys. Full time, and we have won two 0 away to Scunthorpe in the Capital One Cup. We progress through to the next round. Now, as you can see, our first Champions League match is against Napoli, and not much has happened since. I've sort of just skipped the international break. Not much there, no new change. But we're going to be the home kit, obviously. Looking for the kits there. They've got some funky ass kits, Napoli do. And we're just going to give them their home kit. Nice bright blue. Sort of Man City colours. Bit disgusting, but you know, whatever. Royce comes in for another game. Zaha starts Flaney Carrick in midfield. Vidic comes back in. I believe that's Phil Jones playing. Raphael. And I believe Rooney and Van Persie starts up front, so we have got a very strong lineup. We don't want to lose this game, and we, you know, we definitely want to claim a good result, at least, really. So we're kicked off, and we're into the about sixth minute now. And Napoli started the game off very well. Early on, they had a few chances, as such, they had a good build-up, really. I take that back, not really many chances, but they had a good build-up play. And like here, there was a good chance, but a brilliant save by De Gea. And Napoli actually kept me on the uh, front, they, they were on the front foot for a little while and it took me a while to clear it but from that clearance as you can see here, Rooney to Van Persie, Van Persie to Royce and Royce has got a lot of pace down that wing, pulls it back to Van Persie, shoots first time, what a goal, absolutely fantastic shot by Van Persie and that opens our Champions League account for goals this season and what a fantastic one that was, brilliant team play. They, Napoli were on the front foot, and from that, we managed to score. Absolutely brilliant. And Fellaini here, with an absolutely fantastic shot, just a little bit wide. And as you can see here, the curl on this beauty, curled to the left from the from the shot. Quite a good shot as well. <coughs> and back again to some more chances for Napoli. And as I said, they did play really well, and a close one there. De Gea had it covered, but that was very, very close indeed. Now Zaha with a quick feet, quick trickery to Rooney and the ball. Oh, Napoli with some good defending. They're really strong this team this year and they've won a free kick for, for it. And as I was saying, they have lost Cavani, but they are a very strong team. Don't take that away from them. Don't go thinking you're going to thrash Napoli because really if you're playing on a, on a proper difficulty, which you know is a bit challenging, you're going to struggle. Now Van Persie here with a great shot. And a great save from the keeper. I believe that's Pepe Reina or Jose Reina, whatever the hell his name is. I know it's Reina from Liverpool who's on loan. And another chance. Oh, and that was a close one there. 
We could have made it 2 0, but we couldn't quite get that goal. Now it's half time, as you see, a few results coming in, and we're going to make a couple of substitutions. And who we're going to take off? I believe we're going to take off Carrick, he's got a yellow card. I'm going to bring on Gundogan, and Kago is going to come on as well. Freshen up the team, bring on some fresh attacking players, and. You know, Gundogan has been an absolute rock for me for the first few games this season, and I can't can't believe how cheap he is. Actually, I, I believe he's worth a hell of a lot. And real real life, I think we should go back in for him in January. I think he's a key player for Dortmund, but at the right price. Uh, he could turn out to be one of our best midfield players we've had in a long time. He is a box box midfielder, a very good one. And I have a chance here for Van Persie, and what a save that was! What a save indeed! I'm going to show you the replay on this. Look at the reflex save from Reyna. Absolutely fantastic. Was going to go in, and I'm I'm shocked that didn't go in. To be honest, what a save indeed! Now we're on the front foot, and we we throughout this game I found that Napoli. Defensively, absolutely brilliant. Attackingly, they're not very amazing anymore. But they did have a few chances, as you've seen so far, and you're going to keep on seeing. But my defence at the moment has been rock solid, and I've been able to keep it 1-0 for a while. And our counter-attacking ability is absolutely fantastic. And Really, it's been a close game, a real close game. You, you, it could have been 0-0, it could be a couple goals for each team. It really has been that sort of game. But it's been a fair game. It's not, you know, there's been barely any yellow cards. There's uh, not many fouls, and it's been very fluent. Royce here cuts in, takes a couple of touches, shoots. Oh, fu fucking close! That was very, very close. I'm just gonna watch this. Cuts in here, an absolutely fantastic shot. Look how close that was. Wow, that was very, very close. Now Napoli have got a free kick, 74th minute, and they have a chance here. Can they make use of it? No, nope, another great bit of defending. And a lovely tackle. Oh, Napoli. Oh, yes, he's offside. And we can clear clear the ball away and move forward. Now Gundogan to Kagawa. Brilliant first touch there. Van Persie. Nowhere to go. No, he's got it to Royce, and Royce loses out. Oh, unlucky. And there you go, full time, guys. 1 0, and we've won our first group stage game. I hope you've enjoyed this episode in career mode with Manchester United. A quick shout out to Super FIFA Paul, or Pac Man Paul. Go check him out. I'll put a link in the description. Great video. He's got a Ronaldo review on FIFA 14 on my team. Very, very lucky to have that player. Until next time, guys, take care, and I hope you have enjoyed this episode.